I know your uh, your order of worship says today that our our sermon is um, titled "So How Strong Are You Now?" Uh, and I got to be honest, as I put the sermon together, that that sermon title totally went away, and I pivoted, and I'm doing something totally different. So you can forget it, and that's not what we're talking about today. Um, also, as as I started pondering this. Uh, uh, sermon today, uh, it occurred to me that uh, I had a great story that I could share and that we have youth who are now getting highly involved in drama and I have this great drama that they didn't get in time or at all. So I'll have to just tell you the story. But it's kind of funny and it's much better if it was acted out. So you'll just have to bear with me as I put this together. It, it, it's, uh, it's the, 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 uh, the, the story, the script un, un, unfolds with uh, a counter and a guy in a, in a uh, fast food uh, uniform and somebody comes up to the counter and the guy at the counter says, Welcome to make Jesus. Can I take your order, please? And the guy says, Yeah, I'm not sure what you call it, but I want the Jesus that gives me everything I ask for, you know, answers all my prayers immediately and then, uh, uh, and I've got a pretty long uh, list, so uh, make it with all the works. And the cashier says, I'm sorry, but we're out of sugar daddy Jesus today. <laughs> so the fellow says, well, I guess I've just settled for Jesus. I won't let anything really bad happen to me. You see, I don't like pain. Pain hurts me. And then the cashier says, cashier says oh, you want warm fuzzy Jesus? Yes, with extra gushy, mushy love, please. The cashier calls out for an extra warm, uh, a warm fuzzy with extra sweet Turns to the next person and says, Welcome to make Jesus. Can I take your order, please? And the guy looks at him and says, I want the condemning Jesus number five. <laughs> and the cashier asks, Will that be with or without mercy? <laughs> uh, and the guy says, Hold the mercy. The cashier says, Will you have lightning bolts with that? And the fellow says, Yes, extra lightning bolts. The cashier calls out, Well, you must have lots of enemies. And the guy says, well, I like to think I'm just trying to clean up the world a little bit at a time. You know, get rid of the prostitutes, the drug addicts, the homosexuals, my boss. <laughs> the cashier says, oh, kind of a selective early judgment day. The guy says, yes, yeah, somebody who will let me hate these people without feeling guilty. The cashier says, well, you're in luck. We're running a special today on the Terminator, Jesus. The guy says, is there anything else? The judge says, I'll be back. Never mind. <laughs> Next guy comes up and says, I'd like to buy three dollars worth of Jesus, please. Not enough to make me a fanatic or drastically alter my lifestyle, but just enough to make me feel comfortable. I don't want enough of him to make me feel uh, fall in love with somebody with AIDS or become a missionary or anything. Just give me a pound of the supernatural in a paper sack. The cashier asks anything else, and the guy says, well, that's it. The cashier calls out, give me a number seven. Turns to the last guy and says, welcome to make Jesus, can I take your order? Next person says, I like the real Jesus, please. The cashier asks, will that be real Jesus number one, two, or three? The, uh, the fellow says, well, can it, how can there be any more than one Jesus? The cashier says, this is make Jesus, you can have Jesus any way you want. Come on, have it your way. The fellow says, well, I don't want him my way. Maybe I'm in the wrong place. I just want the one true Jesus, the one that's in the Bible. Oh, the Bible. Why did you say that before? The cashier says. You need to go to the McBible location on the south side. <laughs> McBible, the guy says. Yes, McBible. They have 33 different varieties of the good book to choose from, with or without miracles. No prophecies, extra prophecies, cut and paste, version, do you name it. The fellow says, no, thank you. I'll just stick with the Bible I have. The cashier says, suit yourself. Calls out next. Mm. Kind of funny. Kind of makes you think. Every week I try to answer five questions as we go through our sermons. I try to ask, what is it that we need to know? Why do we need to know it? What is it we need to do? Why do we need to do it? And then I finish up with, how do I help us remember these five different points? Thankfully, having gone to seminary, having got all that education, both in undergraduate studies and postgraduate studies, I come to you with all the answers. I don't have to wrestle anymore. I can just open up the Bible and just give it to you. Uh, you can ask the other two pastors here. They know this. They, they've been through it too. They know that this is how we are. Right. right. Amen. Don't we all wish? Truthfully, the, is, the issue and the problem is, is that 
we tend to struggle an awful lot. As we sit down and write up our sermons, we can sit there and come up with revision after revision, change after change, as we wrestle with what we thought we knew, what we thought we were going to find, where we thought we were going, what we thought we were going to share. This week, my noodle got baked more than once as I'm sitting there pondering today's passage, a passage that on the surface seems pretty simple. This is the story of Jesus' temptation being led.